Right, so we turn the bike on. Yep. Go down into the settings. Go over to settings. And we wait for connections to come up, which it is up. So we can go into connections. So first of all, we'll add a mobile device. So if you look at my phone as well on here, uh, I'll go in, I'm in Bluetooth, so settings and Bluetooth. Tilt it up, it's a bit reflective. Settings, That's Bluetooth. It. So I'll go pair new mobile device. Searching for devices. RPS phone, it's found it, so I'll go to the right, connect that. So you're now connecting your phone to the bike. Yep. Which didn't, uh, so connect. Press the button on the phone as well and connect it there. It should say pair. Accept. Accept and pair. Allow contacts, yeah. So the phone is now connected to the bike. So yep. then I'll go down to the rider's helmet and I'll pair that. So I'll start searching, but I have to press the pair button on the press cardo, and hold the which cardo is the button. bottom button with the telephone in it. Yep. And that should flash like that. So it's found it already, look, quick as that. RPS edge, so that's connecting. So I've now got my phone and my edge connected to the bike. Straight, so I, straight so if, to the bike. So if I go away now, that's yep. connected to the bike, and I, I could have, look, there's my directional instructions on yep. the bike. Yep. But let's say we now connect the sat-nav. And we're calling this BMW Communicator. Uh, Am I doing that right or wrong? No, uh, sorry, got to push that in. Oh my, have I got it upside down? No, it's right. Oh dear, what, what am I doing wrong here? I think the slide needs to be all the way across. So that hasn't done that before, is this? Right, hold, so it. If, hold on. Look. So what are we doing right, now? So now we're going to imagine we've got the sat nav, so we'll put that on the bike. And what, if we go into the settings menu now, the sat nav's connected. Um, we lose the connection menu because we're now connecting, want to connect to the sat nav. So let's go and connect, go into the settings on here, connections there. Nothing connected, so if we go here, connect a new device, we go connect smartphone, Scanning. There's RPS iPhone. Try that. It's already done it. I click pair on the phone. Pair on there. Allow. Allow on and the phone. And that's connected. And that's connected. So now we're connected to a new device. I'll get the Cardo. Rider's helmet. I'll click on there. I'll click the pair button on the Cardo. So hang on. Let's just get this straight. You're now connecting the Cardo to the nav. Nav. Yeah. Okay. There's RPS Edge, connect that. So now I've got my phone connected and my Cardo intercom connected, connected yeah? To so, the nav. To the nav. So basically, if I take the sat nav off and leave it at home, it will automatically connect to the bike. But if I put the sat nav on and go connect. away, it connects to the sat nav. Okay. So and that is the route you've got to do it. That's the way I've done it, and it seems to That's work. That's the way yeah. you've done it, okay. But you'll notice here on that screen, if we take the sat-nav off, if I can get this, the connections menu, it take, that has come back on. Did you see that? Yeah. If we put the sat-nav back on again, like that, that connections menu should, it takes, there, it's just disappeared. So we, it's gone back to the sat-nav. So, so the sat-nav overrides the connection to the bike. What you're actually telling me is this works so far uh, quick update here we've uh, forgotten to mention so when i went in to look at my routes go to nav start and, and if you go into like routes this wasn't updating with my phone so what i did is i connected this to my phone via Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth and then it updated so if you go into settings uh, settings is it here you can go into system is it Wi-Fi connect your home Wi-Fi add that to your phone 
so oh so you're you're using your blue you're linking it you're using your bluetooth on your phone no it's already connected by bluetooth now i'm connecting it by wi-fi as it's well. a bit like Hotlink. So it, I thought it was a bit silly that it can't update the routes and everything, update this over Bluetooth. So you're talking about Wi-Fi at home? You could do it with your home Wi-Fi. Yeah, because that's yeah. my Wi-Fi there, Dora. So, so the phone with the connected app, the connected app, everything you do on there is saved into your account, isn't it, online? Yes. So for this to update, it also needs to go online to update itself So online. ideally, you connected your so home you for connect it to your home Wi-Fi, but because I was out and about, I connected it to my, um, I tethered it to my phone in... Which is um, standard. ...personal hotspot. So and how do you hotspot, tether it? Add a, add a network. Uh, no, not add a network. Where is it? Um, RPS phone there. And then... Oh, it's already connected. It might remember my password. Oh, connected. So it's remembered my password from last time. So now I'm connected over the Wi-Fi as well. It will update the it sat-nav with all the routes. All the traffic as well. So if I imported on the connected app some routes, say, eh, it would only con update on the sat-nav if that was connected by Wi-Fi. Yeah. Whereas I thought it might Bluetooth it, but it didn't. No. That makes sense. Okay, thanks for that little update. I'll slip that into the middle of the video. You end. can bugger off now. Thank you. So far. But today we did uh, route testing and we were testing tracks. Yeah, and I'm not sure whether it was my fault or that because it was a bit confusing on the roundabout. So it, one roundabout. It had a roundabout wrong. and I should have, what you set me up to do was take the first left. It did have a number one on the roundabout, but the roundabout. Which is, which is first the exit. The picture of the roundabout Hang was, on. was going straight ahead. You said number one? Yeah. That's which first exit, which, which, which I wanted correct. you to take to Henley Rugby So Club. it did have the number one on the roundabout. But the picture, you went straight on. the picture looked like to go straight on, so I didn't know which to do. So I chose. I, well, at least it told you. But maybe I'll have to look at what roundabouts look like because maybe okay. they always look like they're straight on. So that's that. Maybe you have to look at the number. But I got a, bit, got a bit dirty coming here. Got a bit dirty. I took you down some mud roads, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Mm, well, never mind. So are you going to put the black Akrapovic on or not? A crap, Krapovic. A Krapovic. <laughs> are you or not? Might do. I'm not sure which colour to put on, or whether to put something else on. Well, Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde's got to be, isn't it? Could be, could be. Could be Jekyll and Hyde. It's coming out in about a month, hopefully. Yeah. So it should be good to go. Waiting to see pictures of it, are we? So hopefully we're going to go over to Amsterdam Yeah. and uh, meet the guys and in that's the factory. What, that's what you'll put on, is it? Probably. If it's really ugly, then no. But if yeah. it's good, then we'll have it. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just not sure about whether I need all the sound of a Jekyll and Hyde on a bike Well, you like can this. switch Jekyll and Hyde off. You can, you can. And when you want to make a noise, you can. You can, yeah. And well, isn't that good to have both options? I think so. Well, it's good to have the option. And that's the low seat on that one, isn't it? Yep. So my little feet, little, little legs feet. can Jump up quick for me. Know. On the bike? Yeah. Let me move this. So this is uh, in low. The chassis is in low. Yep. I keep telling him to use the foot peg to get on, but he won't listen. That's all right. So now Richard's little feet can touch the ground. His big feet are on the ground. And what's your almost, inside leg? Look, almost. Flat, flat foot. Footing. And what's your inside leg? I don't know. What? <laughs> so what are you doing now, Richard? Sticking that in there? Yeah. Okay. But He's come to borrow my polish up. But if it was in one bag, it would be quite, it would be better because then it's well, not going to fall out. You want to carry a bag? Yeah. Or bag for life? Yeah. There's 70p. I'll give you 50. Nah. You're not having one. <laughs> Paper bag. It's a bag for life. Paper You're bag. not allowed to give it away. Paper bag. All right, I'll get you one. Paper bag? Do people have paper bags? Well, I don't want to pay. You never want to pay for anything. I'll see if I can go and... Actually, I went to Tesco's the other day. You can have a Tesco bag. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, okay. I'll do. What have you just discovered? Even with my little legs, you are low and low the You've just discovered that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, mate. What? Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. You happy with that? Try it again. It's a 30 inch inseam midget. Go. And flat feet. 